Hey guys, welcome back to Insomniac Stream. Today's video is the third in my Elemental Mermaid series, so for today's video, I bring you air. So this is where I would usually say the first thing I started with was laying down my white base, but very quickly I realized I had forgotten a rather important step for my mermaids, and that is blocking down my brows, so I had to quickly kind of do that while having part of my face painted. I used my usual glue stick method. I am going to film a proper video for you guys so I can better direct you and give you a full breakdown of exactly how I do it. So this is just a quick sped through version. And then I moved on to covering my face, neck, and chest with the Mehron Clown White Lights, as well as setting it with the Ben Nice Super White Powder. This is a cream base, so it takes a lot longer to apply, but I find applying with a sponge gives you a more opaque base to work with. And then you definitely want to set everything because it will be tacky and you don't want it to move. For the eyes, I just used NYX White Eyeshadow Base to help them match the rest of the skin tone and set it with a white matte shadow. And then I took a matte gray eyeshadow and started creating the shape I wanted for the eyes. I know I wanted almost a cut crease in my brow line area and then also wanted to extend out where the liner would be later on to kind of just lay out the whole shape. And then I continued with some fluffier brushes and blended up the area above my brow eye shape as well as added some contouring to the sides of the face, along the neck and along the collarbone area. To complete the eyes, I pulled the eyeshadow out in a V shape and then pulled it underneath the eyes as well. And then I took a bright silver eyeshadow and applied that to the very center of my lid and along the inner corner just to bring a little bit more light into the eye and give it a little bit of a glow. And then I used NYX Matte Liquid Liner and created a pretty, a pretty chonky winged liner. I wanted the eyes to be really strong in this look, so this was a way to help bring a lot of attention and focus because it's going to be one of the few areas that even has black. And so I made some good giant wings and carried it across my entire lash line. I used a black eye pencil along half of my lower waterline and then just softened it out with a little bit of black shadow as well. And then to start sketching out the glowing tattoos as I wanted to design for my Air Mermaid, I used a NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk to line out where everything was going to be. And then taking some different light blues from my Makeup Revolution palette, I went ahead and started adding the lightest blue along the outside of this line I had drawn, knowing that eventually I was going to go back and clean everything up. So you can be a little bit messy here. And then even closer to that white line, you want to take a darker blue and keep that right along the edge of it. This will help give that idea of that glowing effect. And then you might find after you've gone back with the darker blue, you want a little bit more of the lighter blue shadow diffused out. So I went back with a like fluffier brush and just kind of softened the whole thing before I did a very clean line with my Mehron Paradise Paint in white. This allowed me to make sure the lines were super crisp after doing all of the blending and that kind of gives that neon glowing effect. As you can imagine from here on out, it's pretty much that exact same method just repeated over and over again for the different designs that either you're doing for your character or what I did for mine. I did have intention with mine. I wanted to kind of reference the designs of gills I've been using, but also keep that feel of like wind flow and tattoo designs for the air elemental aspect. And I won't even lie, there is definitely an inspiration of the last airbender in here with the glowing tattoos. So I kind of just wanted to combine all of that to create what I thought still would kind of read as an air elemental mermaid. I would say the longest part of this paint is honestly just working on symmetry and clean lines. This one did take as long as my other mermaids, even though it's not nearly as complex. And it's just because it was difficult in a different way. I had to be very tedious on trying to make sure things felt symmetrical. I had to be very specific on how I applied shadow and made sure that it still properly defined all of the lines I was making. So it's just a different kind of tricky, but it's kind of fun to work with different techniques and see how they challenge you. I decided the forehead looked a little too empty, so I wanted to add tattoos there as well. One thing I did do though, in my original design in my head, I was gonna have tattoos come down from the very center of my forehead, but I realized that kind of would be tricky to blend into the hairline of the wig I was gonna use. So one kind of way to get around that was to make them go off to the sides. So I still get some detailing on the forehead, but I don't have to worry as much about it being blatantly obvious that it disappears into a wig. To add a little pop of color to the eye area, I took a Suva Beauty liner in Snow Queen and just did a little line underneath that, again, cut crease shape I made earlier. <laughs> and then I also added a little bit of depth to that gray cut crease by adding a little bit of black to the edge and uh, blending it upwards. At this point, I was getting near the end of the paint, so I wanted to throw on the wig and see how it was coming together. This is an Eva Hair official wig that I cut down to be the length that it is. And then I threw on my air fins, which are made of clear warbler. 
I thought they kind of looked like a mix of water ripples and I love the fact that they obviously look very airy and light since they are clear. And then I quickly just added a few extra of the glowing tattoos to the sides of my arms just to carry them down a little bit further. Exact same steps, so not exactly exciting. And then to finish up with the lips, all I did was line them with a dark gray and follow with a matte Smashbox lipstick. And then I used a lip crayon from Bite Beauty that's white. And I added this all to the center and blended out to give a little bit more of a gradient, but also make it a lighter gray as opposed to a dark color. And then that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed my interpretation of trying to bring an air elemental and mermaid combination to life. I wanted to kind of give that feel of the mythological roots as well as being true to the simple elegance, so to speak, of the air and like wind elements. So hopefully it reads well and you guys enjoyed this one. Last elemental will be up next week. We'll be completing water. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I, of course, will see you next video. So until then, bye guys.